Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a ship with me video. We have 19 orders, but 23 items. So we do have a couple bundles in here. I have all of my labels printed off. I use my Dymo Label Writer 4XL to print all my labels. It does free up a lot of time because it prints onto, it's like a sticker basically. So you just unpeel the sticker and stick it on as opposed to having to tape it on. And yeah, I will have all of my other shipping supplies linked down below. Not only that I have ordered myself from Amazon, but also USPS supplies that I do order for free from the post office. They are delivered straight to my door. And I do have all of the specific box numbers and styles that I use down below. You will see me using them in this video. So. Starting off, we have an Eileen Fisher dress. This is, it's a very minimalist kind of cut. It's a midi length button down front with two oversized patch pockets, size medium. I'm seeing, I already lint rolled and double checked all this stuff for any flaws that I may have not, may have missed while photoing and just kind of processing the items. I always double and triple check everything, um, but sometimes I do miss a couple loose threads. And honestly, sometimes I miss flaws. Um, and if I've ever missed a flaw on an item that I shipped out to you, please open a case and um, you know make Poshmark aware of it because I do not want any of my buyers to be dissatisfied with their orders. So. Eileen Fisher dress. I listed this at $50 just because it is pretty substantial with the length. Midi and maxi dresses uh, do kind of raise the resell value, I would say. Um, and after maybe two or three months, I received a $40 offer, which I did accept. I thought that was super fair. That made my earnings $32. I got this at my local family thrift center outlet. So I paid $2. I shop there pretty much every Thursday. Everything in the store is $2, uh, no matter what it is, shoes purses, clothing. So yeah, my net profit on this dress came out to $30. So very happy with this. I would say anything $30 and up is uh, a great profit for Eileen Fisher these days, just because it's resell value isn't always the highest. Okay, next we have a three item bundle. First off, is this corduroy shacket shirt jacket top and it has a really fun kind of lively rose floral print buttons down in front it's just a vintage brand andrews blues in a size medium 100 percent cotton i pick up pretty much anything that is shacket style or could be worn as a shacket just because they are still heavily trending and popular. I have a shirt. This is really just like a flannel kind of shirt. It's too hot for shackets here in Houston, um, but I do like the shacket look myself. Second item is this Carol Little Petite floral button down blouse with a tie bottom hem. I got this not only for this fun almost 80s style print, but also because it has these acrylic or enamel, I guess you'd say, rose buttons. I'll put a picture of them in. Could not pass it up after seeing those. I thought it was the cutest shirt ever. I grabbed this from the bins. Super lightweight. I always keep my eye out for funky and unique pieces. Not only pieces, but details uh, to an item, like those buttons. I think they definitely made this shirt super marketable. And 
third and last piece I'm going to wrap separately because it is 100% silk. It is equipment. It's a shirt dress, sleeveless shirt dress, button down, size small, 100% silk. This, I would say, sold within two weeks of being listed. The Carol Little Top with the rose buttons sold maybe a month, two months. And the rose jacket sold within like a day or two of being listed. So, some pretty quick sales here. I think this is a really fun bundle. I hope the buyer enjoys it. And when the three of these were added together, the bundle price came out to $88. However, I do have an automatic bundle discount in my closet of 15% off three items or more. So when someone adds three items or more to a bundle, Poshmark automatically gives them, it shows them uh, what they can buy it for at 15% off. And so the buyer did purchase at full price with the discount of 15%. So it came out to $74.80 for the bundle. That made my earnings $59.84. I paid five for everything. And so my net profit was $54.84. So that was awesome. I don't get full price bundle sales too often. But when I do, it's always an exciting time. I definitely do feel like my automatic bundle discount for sure incentivizes people to buy bundles in my closet. Also, just because I have so many items within similar styles to each other, do I think I get a lot of bundles? I get that question a lot. How do I have so many bundles? I think it's just because I do have kind of a curated closet. So there's a lot of um, similar style pieces that potential buyers can bundle together. Okay, next we have a pair of shoes. These are a pair of Vince flats, not to be confused with Vince Camuto. These are Vince period. Uh, the retail on these is probably, if I had to guess off the top of my head, 250 to 300 ish. However, they did have uh, several flaws to them. Nothing major, just some spots to the leather. It looks like maybe uh, they got rained on or maybe just something splashed onto them. Honestly, it's not crazy noticeable, but it is there. And the bottom sole, which is also leather, was still in good condition. So I did want to go ahead and get them just because I couldn't see them left behind. You know, with their great quality and their retail price, I knew someone would want them. I listed them at 25 just, again, because of the heavy flaws to them and someone liked them and so I sent them out a $22 offer with discount ship and they did counter that at 15 which I went ahead and accepted. I did want to move them out just because they are flawed. I paid two for them so my net profit was 10 which was honestly right around what I was expecting on these just to make a quick 10 or $15 back. Um, even though they're flawed, I knew that the brand and the reputation of the brand and the quality would carry them and help them sell. So yeah, 10 bucks on these. I'm not mad about it. My other option would have been to just leave them behind. And honestly, if it had been a Vince blouse that was heavily flawed, I probably would have left it behind just because clothing does take longer to process. You have to lint roll it and photo it, measure it. Shoes, way faster, way less of a time investment. I just snap photos from all angles. No measurements, quick listing. Okay, next we have Chico's. This is, this is an interesting piece. I feel like this is kind of a rare bird because it's 100% linen and it's a no iron, fresh, chic 
top. Fresh chic just means that it has some type of technology where it keeps you fresh longer, I guess, like if you're sweating and stuff, maybe just because of the linen. But it's a pinstripe red with a contrast floral lining, really cute, in a size 2, which is Chico's 1214. Uh, yeah, someone commented on my video saying that this would sell fast because of the no iron and linen combo and it definitely did. This sold within like a week or two and yeah, I think that's really impressive of Chico's to make a top with, um, with it being so practical. It's breathable. It's, you can travel well with it. So kudos to Chico's on this one. I listed this at 35 and someone offered me 30, which I accepted. My earnings were 24. This was another Family Thrift Center outlet pickup, so I paid two. And so my net profit was $22. So I'm happy with that. I think this is a great blouse. I absolutely love the contrasting floral print. I think that's such a cute touch. Okay, next we have a vest. This is from Miss Me. I for sure do not always pick up Miss Me items when I find them, but this had so much going for it. It obviously has this dramatic fur front. Also has a lot of beading and embroidery down where the hook and eye closures are. Um, and it just seemed like great quality. So I had to get it. And it sold pretty well, I would say within maybe a month of being listed. Uh, I listed at 35. Someone liked it, and so I sent them out a $31 offer with discount ship. They accepted that, so my earnings were $22.12. I picked this up from the bins, but it does have a little bit of weight to it, I would say. Uh, and so I paid probably around $2. So my net profit on this was right around 20, which I'm super happy with. That is what I aim for with my outlet finds. I always like a net profit of right at that $20 mark. So happy with this. Some Miss Me items for sure sell better for me than others. Uh, anything that's super boho like that with embroidery or just a lot of kind of interesting details definitely does better. Next we have a tried and true band tee. I picked this up. It's Rolling Stones North American Tour 1975 t-shirt medium. I think this was sold at like Target. Uh, Pretty much any band tee I find, especially if it's a popular brand, I will 100% get just because they always sell so quickly for me. Not for a lot by any means, uh, but I can always count on them being a quick like 10 to $20 profit. And consistency does mean a lot to me as a full-time reseller. So. You know, when I'm paying all of my bills with reselling, um, I think more fondly of items that sell super consistently for me rather than pieces that are more of a gamble but could sell for higher. I would 100% uh, go with consistency hands down. So I love band tees. That's my little rant on band tees. I listed this at 22. I got an offer of 13, which I did counter to 15 and that was accepted. So again, my net profit on this came out to $10. Sold within a day, possibly two days of being listed. No more than two days of being listed. I also had a Journey t-shirt from my last haul that I just filmed. That Rolling Stones t-shirt was in the same haul as the Journey t-shirt. 
the journey shirt sold within hours of being listed i can't remember if it was included in a ship with me video or not but yeah also banty also sold incredibly fast next we have this good human kind of loungewear style top very slouchy it has be yourself embroidered in front i do really like finding and selling this brand good human it sells really well again very quickly consistently i think because a lot of their pieces are kind of like updated loungewear which is pretty much ideal for a lot of people me included because i love to be comfy i work from home a lot and so you know i still want to look cute but i want to be comfy and this good human brand for sure uh, helps you out with that very conducive for that kind of vibe this shirt did have several small holes at the shoulder which I did take a picture of obviously and uh, disclose in the listing I still got it though because kind of like the Vince shoes I knew that it would still sell I listed at 25 which is for sure lower than I would have if it were perfect Someone liked it, and so I sent them out a $22 offer with discount ship. They did accept that, so my earnings were $14.92. I paid two, and so my net profit was right around $13. So yeah, some of these not super high profits, but honestly, it all adds up to bills that I have, essentially. Okay, next up, we have this blouse. This is so pretty. I mentioned in the haul, this brand Finley is for sure a bolo. Very expensive retail. This shirt was... I'm sure around 200 to $250. It's a size large. I thought that it was a little bit more of an obscure brand, but, and I was thinking this might sit because of that. Like I was thinking maybe someone in, you know, six months time or so who knows this brand really well would search out Finley tops and find this shirt and it would sell that way. But honestly, this shirt, blouse sold within just a couple days actually i think same day of being listed which was awesome i listed it at 45 someone liked it and so i sent them out a 40 dollars offer with discount ship that was accepted and so my earnings were 29 dollars and 32 cents and my net profit was $27.32. So I'm thrilled with how this shirt performed. I have sold a dress by Finley in the past. It's called the Rocky Dress. It was polka dot, really cute. I forget what it sold for. I want to say right around $50, but that sold really quickly as well. I think this brand is most well known for their shirt dresses, especially that dress style in particular, the Rocky dress. So I would highly suggest you guys research Finley Rocky dress and keep your eye out for it. And just the brand in general, because as you can see, this top performs very well. It's, it's really pretty though. I love the plaid and the dramatic ruffle going down the front. Okay, moving on, we have a Lucky Brand floral printed long sleeve with a v-neck. It has a little bit of kind of a bell sleeve, size large. Really cute. This was just a bread and butter pickup. Um, I got it with another Lucky Brand shirt that was also a size large, and I thought about bundling them, but I decided to just list separately because they were kind of different, even though same brand and size, they did have a little bit of a different style to them. So I ended up listing separately. This one was listed at 28, and within just a couple days, I received a $20 offer, which I did accept. That made my earnings $16 and my net profit $14. Okay, moving on, we have a pair of shoes, another pair of shoes. This brand is Luis Etsy. 
I think that's how you say it. Um, and I believe these, this brand is sold at Nordstrom. Uh, really high quality. And I think they do retail for quite a bit. These were probably like 150-ish new would be my guess. I actually got these in a thread up rescue box. It was either thread up, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Um, and that thread up box that I got has, that was my best decision ever to order that thread up shoe mystery box because I have, I don't even know how many times I have, uh, you know, multiplied my profits by because um, all of the shoes sold really well that I listed. I need to go back and calculate it. And I kind of want to order more, honestly. I need to do that. I've just been so busy with shopping and listing and shipping and filming. It has been um, a lot. But anyways, I got these in a thread up mystery box, paid $5 per pair of shoes, and I listed these at 32. They were in decent condition. After maybe six to nine months, I would say, I received a $22 offer, which I went ahead and accepted. My earnings were $17.60, and my net profit was $12.60 on those shoes. Moving on, we have a really fun piece here. This is Retrolicious. Definitely another Bolo brand for you guys. It is sold through Mod Cloth, and they have a lot of really cool, interesting prints, usually novelty prints, like this one is vacation themed. It looks like Italy or France. The picture, I think there's like a bike and some wine. I have sold a cat printed Retrolicious skirt in the past and that sold for $40. I sourced that from ThreadUp during the pandemic. I've also sold i sold a couple Retrolicious items and they've always performed really well. So I listed this one at 35 and within a couple weeks, I received a $25 offer, which I went ahead and took. That made my earnings 20. I paid two and so my net profit was $18. I do think the animal novelty prints do best with Retrolicious. Uh, I don't know though, my mom just sold a Route 66 Retrolicious dress and I think it sold for like $50 so really anything from that brand I would say keep your eye out for. Okay, a two-piece bundle here. First off is the Brandy Melville very popular Jada dress. It has an open back, tiered baby doll kind of cut to it. Really cute, it's one size, 100% rayon. Great for the summertime. Second and last piece is this vintage 90s kind of Y2K style plaid mini skirt. Really cute. So this is definitely kind of like a 90s style bundle here, very trendy. Uh, when both were added together, the bundle price came out to $56, and I was offered $34, which I accepted. I actually picked up that skirt for myself at the bin, so I probably paid a dollar. And I just, it didn't fit me quite how I wanted it to, and so I just ended up listing it. So, uh, yeah, accepted an offer of $34. My earnings were $27.20. I paid three for both, and so my net profit was $24.20. So, that was great. That's definitely a huge added plus to reselling, is you can just keep an eye out for yourself for clothes. And if they don't work out, you can just list them and make money off of them. Next we have this pair of MNG, which is Mango brand faux leather track style trouser pants with an elastic waist. 
They have pockets. These are a size medium. Really cute, very chic. Uh, I knew these would sell probably pretty quickly and they did. I think faux leather trouser kind of pants are very in still. I found these at my Family Thrift Center outlet once again, so I paid $2. I listed them at $28. Someone offered me $19 for them, and so I did counter that to $22, mainly because they are pretty substantial and they are pretty new. They're a pretty new listing, and so I did, you know, when I counter that, to 22 that was accepted so my earnings were $17 and 60 cents and my net profit was $15 and 60 cents so that was great I think these retailed for around 60 um, so yeah I'm happy with that profit for sure I might have needed to put these in a box I think we can make it work that works Okay, next up we have a J. Crew polka dot printed sleeveless blouse. It has a tie in front. I had never seen this tag before this top. It says J. Crew 365. I got this in a thread up 100 pound mystery box unboxing. If I can get the hanger out here. Uh, and. Yeah, I thought it was super cute, so I for sure listed this. I did not list everything from that box, but with the kind of contemporary style of this and polka dot print, uh, bold prints like this always do great for me. Polka dots, stars, stripes. So yeah, listed this for 38 and someone liked it so I sent them out a $34 offer with discount ship that was accepted which was very exciting my earnings were $24.52 and I still again have not tallied up exactly how much I paid for each item that I listed from that 100 pound bulk box but I guesstimated around $5. That is definitely on the high side. I think it was probably closer to like $3-ish, but we'll say five to be sure. So my net profit was around $20 on this top, which is very exciting for something that was delivered straight to my door. This is so cute. I hope the buyer loves it. There went my thank you sticker roll. That's okay. We're reaching the end of our thank you sticker roll, but I do have four more behind me. I have definitely learned my lesson with keeping extras of shipping supplies uh, on hand. Okay, next up we have a two item bundle. First off is this Easel Los Angeles brand, which is like a mid-tier-ish, low to mid-tier boutique. I don't know, maybe just straight mid-tier because this retailed at like 50 or $60, which is kind of pricey. It's a leopard print jacket, adorable. This is like as trendy and in style as you can get currently with the print and the cut. So I was very happy to find this once again at my family thrift two dollar day this was also sourced there it's a billabong boho printed dress a very kind of festival vibe here size medium both of these pieces sold within like a day or two of being listed which was awesome so when both were added together the bundle price came out to 60 and I believe the buyer messaged me and asked if I would send her an offer. And so I sent over a $48 offer with no discounted ship, shipping and she did accept that. So my earnings were $38.40. So yeah, I paid $4 for both, two a piece. And so my net profit was $34.40 on this bundle. 
that I'm definitely happy with, especially happy with how fast both items sold. I knew they would though because anything that's extremely boho like this and then once again shackets are both uh, some of my fastest sellers I would say for sure. This box here is box number 1092. Once again, I do have it linked down below. Next, we have an Eileen Fisher 100% silk printed dress. It has a drawstring at the waist. This is called the Seraglio dress. That's the style name. And this specific dress, the Seraglio dress from Eileen Fisher in this exact print the comps on it are amazing. I thought when I picked it up that, you know, it would sell for maybe like 28 to 35 ish, which is usually right around what Eileen Fisher sells for me. Um, but when I checked the comps, I went ahead and listed at 75. And within just a couple days, I got a $55 offer. So I was extremely happy to accept that. My earnings were 44 and my net profit was 42. So thrilled with this. Even though Eileen Fisher does not have the best resale value across the board, I will probably always still buy it because their materials are really nice. A lot of natural materials like silk or cashmere, linen, organic cotton, organic linen. So yeah, it's always really great quality. People know the brand. It's definitely reputable. Sorry about the train guys. Hopefully you can hear me, but yeah, I do definitely love finding and selling Eileen Fisher. Next, we have a tank top. This is our last clothing item. This is from Matilda Jane. Super cute. It's like mixed prints all over, stripes and florals. And this actually is new with tags. It retailed at $58. It's called the On My Mind blouse. And I listed this at 32. Within just a couple days, I received a $26 offer, which I accepted. That made my earnings $20.80 and my net profit $18.80. Matilda Jane is another very consistent seller for me. Uh, people do for sure search out specific uh, items within this brand because they do like a mom and daughter type clothing where you can match your, your child and so you know if someone was gifted a, a dress for their daughter they might search out the mom version so they can match um, so that's why I always for sure add style names I always find the style names and add them into Matilda Jane items I try to do that for everything but this brand in particular so yes did I say what my net profit was 1880 was my net profit on that okay lastly we have two pairs of shoes first is this pair of Tory Burch sandals they have like a half logo to them in a gray suede they're a size seven and I listed these, was it last night? I believe it was last night. I listed them for $85 and just a little bit ago, I got a $65 offer, which I did accept. They do have a little bit of wear to them. If they were in perfect condition, I probably would have held out at right around 85, but because of the light wear, I did go ahead and accept that $65 offer. I was still thrilled with that. My earnings were 52. Another family thrift center outlet find. 
And so my net profit was $50 on these flats. Tory Burch is just kind of a solid bet that it will sell quickly uh, and, you know, for a good return. If it's accessories, their clothing does definitely sometimes sit for sure, um, especially if it's like older clothing. But any type of shoes, purses, jewelry, especially if the logo is pretty prominent, it's pretty much guaranteed that it will sell quickly and for a great return. So lastly for today are these Lucky Brand leather booties. These are the basil booties. These were also listed last night and I listed them at 40. Today, again, a little bit ago, I got an offer for 25, which I counter to 28. Someone did accept the 28 counter, and so my earnings were $22.40. I paid two, and so my net profit was $20.40 on these boots, which I'm thrilled with. Uh, Lucky Brand, again, tried and true for sure. So yeah, that is absolutely it for this Ship With Me video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye y'all.